Happy Go! Breaking news. Welcome to today's headlines. Governor Hope Uzodima is dead. God bless Unamdekano. Father Umbaka speaks. Governor Hope Uzodima is dead. God bless Unamdekano. Father Umbaka says. So my dear listeners from wherever you're listening from, please stay tuned as I read today's news. Umbaka said, although it does not support terrorism, it stands against killing and labeling innocent youth of the country as terrorists. He opined, that the recent jailbreak in Imo State could be God's way of releasing his people from prison. Umbakal also wondered why the killing of the top commander of the Eastern Security Network, ESN, in Kosovo Sudan was being celebrated. The cleric further warned the leaders to kill poverty, unemployment, and insecurity because God is angry with them, adding that those advising Uzodima have killed him while he is still alive, can never support terrorism, neither will I allow you to brand our children terrorists when they are not. If some people broke the prison in a way, if you caught them, arrest, interrogate them. It may be possible that no human being broke into that prison. It may be jailbreak from God. It happened in Act of Apostles chapters 5. There was no jailbreak and nobody was arrested. God can set the prisoners free. For people to go around and kill our young men without trying them is evil. I am just warning our governors. Nigerians are dying like rats and nobody cares. God is angry with leaders from Buhari to the last. You have failed God. Hope Uzodima who came here and put his hand on this altar and swore he will protect the lives of Imolite. The lives of Imolite is now organizing the killing of Imolite and he wants me to keep quiet. I was keeping quiet until the blood of my brother was shed. Never. Whoever will support that will suffer. How is it difficult for the military? Police and DSS to arrest one person? What if the person you killed is innocent of what he is accused of? You killed Ukonso and you are parading his body as if you have done anything. Go and kill poverty, unemployment, insecurity. You know how to kill wicked people. God's anger is on. No prophet will be spared if you keep quiet about what is happening in the country. If the leaders do not stop what is going on, it will stop them. He urged Nigerians to stop misquoting him because he's just a messenger of God and maintain that Buari does not call him and he does not call Buhari. They said, I was the one that prayed for Hope Uzodema. 
Hope Uzodima was like a vision that came to me. How am I involved in it? The message from God just passed. Through me, I don't know his political story. Till today, someone, Uzodima, who became governor, has not come to give thanks to God here. I know if he's receiving advice from this sanctuary, he will not be messing up. Those advising Uzodima has killed him while he is still alive. Umbakal also prayed that God bless, God will bless IPOP leader Unam Dekanu. According to him, it is not wrong for someone to love courage and say that his people have been maltreated. Umbaka said although he does not support terrorism, he stands against killing and labeling innocent youth of the country as terrorists. He opined that the recent job break in Imo State could be God's way of releasing people from prison. Umbaka also wondered why the killing of a top commander of the Eastern Security Network, ESN, a concert dawn was being celebrated. The cleric further warned the leaders to kill poverty, unemployment and insecurity because God is angry with them. Adding that those advising Uzo Demar have killed, have killed him while he is still alive. Can never support terrorism. Neither will I allow you to brand our children terrorists when they are not. If someone broke the prison in Oweri, if you caught them, arrest, interrogate them, it may be possible that no human being broke into that prison. It may be jailbreak from God. It happened in Act of Apostles, chapter 5. There was no jailbreak and nobody was arrested. God can set the prisoners free. For people to go around and kill our young men without trying, them is evil. I'm just warning our governors. Nigerians are dying like rats and nobody cares. God is angry with leaders from Buari to the last. You are filled.